With the Olympic opening ceremonies in Tokyo coming up this Friday, we are introducing you to athletes who are pushing the limits and inspiring the next generation of champions. The U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum in Colorado Springs showcases America's greatest athletes and their gravity-defying achievements. Some iconic Olympians spoke with CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Dana Jacobson, telling her how their journeys taught them lessons that go beyond sports. And Dana is here and joining us now. Good morning, Dana. Good morning, Vlad. The museum focuses on the core values of the Olympic and Paralympic movements, respect, inspiration, equality, and courage, and shows that beneath every Olympian's determination and excellence, there's also a story of resiliency and perseverance. It's a great dress, and it served me very well. <laughs> I, oh, that's an understatement. Yeah. At 19 years old, American figure skater Peggy Fleming gracefully glided toward gold at the 1968 Olympics in Grenoble, France, wearing a chartreuse dress made by her mother. They make a chartreuse liqueur up in the mountains in Grenoble. And she thought, well, if I wore the color chartreuse, it yeah. would endear me to the French people and they would applaud more. <laughs> <laughs> Fleming's iconic dress is among the memorabilia on display at the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum in Colorado Springs. It's a wonderful place to kind of let your dreams just explode of, could I really do this? But all you have to do is try. <laughs> and you sometimes surprise yourself. The museum also no. features. I think I left early. Interactive exhibits. I'm lost to Jesse Owens. Like a virtual race against four time gold medalist Jesse Owens. On the day we visited, we even ran into retired hockey player Jim Craig, the goalie for the 1980 gold medal winning Team USA, best known for their improbable victory over the Soviets the miracle on ice. This is a real special place. For, that is a really, these, really special place for anybody. Because awesome. somebody's gonna leave here with an ambition that he didn't have before Absolutely. they came in here. It's a history museum, it's a cultural museum, it's an art museum, it's a museum that talks about social progress. We talk to athletes all throughout the process. Michelle Ducer Farrell, a vice president at the museum, helps create exhibits to honor athletes and highlight their stories including her own. Yeah, that's my leotard. We wore that in the team final. She took home silver at the games in 1984 as a member of the U.S. gymnastics team. The stories of both Olympic and Paralympic athletes exist here at the museum side by side. This isn't, here's a wing of the Paralympic games. This is equal and on par. We're one team. <laughs> Our athletes are the fabric of our nation. We want everybody to see that our team represents this nation. This is also personal for you beyond your Olympic time. How? I have a daughter who plays wheelchair basketball. And so she now is seeing athletes that represent her journey, her experience in this museum and being inspired by that as well. We hope that the stories through sport that are told here are really a platform for telling a bigger, more global story of pursuing your passion, working hard, overcoming obstacles. A 17-year-old miss from Colorado Springs, Peggy Gail Fleming. Peggy Fleming faced a major obstacle after winning her first world championship in Davos, Switzerland in 1966. Two weeks later, her father suffered a fatal heart attack. That really shook my world, and my mom had to raise four girls by herself, and then my expensive sport. It was just amazing what we went through and how my mother was so strong. When you lose a parent, you lose that strength. It's a piece of you. And every time I'd go back to try to train, I'd go, I'm not as strong as I was before he died. And then over the months and years, it all came back. Helping catapult Fleming to the top of the skating world. Her story, one we all can learn from. When somebody comes in here and reads about you, reads your story, what do you hope they walk away with? I just hope that they can put themselves in my shoes and put themselves in that story. You just never know until you try a sport or try something to see where you stand. It's not for just a special few, it's for everybody to try. And then let the fire fuel you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely.
At the museum, some of the employees have disabilities. Some are aspiring Paralympians. Again, this museum is taking those core values, inclusivity and equality, to heart and actually showing them off. What a fantastic place, Dan. It's beautiful. Yeah. It really is. And boy, I still remember Peggy, Peggy Fleming, Fleming winning that gold in 68. I know. I, know. I think it was the only gold the U.S. won in 68, that year, right? Yeah. Right. Um, she looks fabulous. Yeah. She looked great. I fangirled out on Jim Craig. I got to tell I you. Like, my <laughs> smile was that, like, oh my God, it's Jim Craig. I love seeing cool. Michelle's uniform. I remember 1984, Mary Lou that team. That was when we were kids. Yep. That was a big yeah. deal. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Peggy, like, Peggy Fleming's advice: all you can do is try. Yeah. All you can no do, no matter what, it's like a great matter museum. what. Dana, thank you. Yeah.